My name is Cynthia Crookpick, and thank you for the opportunity to speak. Uh, most of the topics... Crook, C-R-O-O-K hyphen P-I-C-K. Most of the topics have been covered this evening, so I'll make this very short and sweet. I know we have to fit the rest of the people in. So I asked this question of the FSB back in March at the hearing in Barville. Why are we being denied due process? It is the legal requirement that the state, which is you, must respect all legal rights that are owned and balances the power of the law of the land and protects the individual person from it. Again, I ask, where are the legal rights of the residents of Barville? Why are they not being considered? Why would the board grant due process to Invenergy with an extension, but not the residents of Barville? Just Sunday, there was published in the Province Journal on the front page. We're dealing with a crisis. We had some issues a couple years ago with 38 studios. We owe $53. million because of a little bit of an issue with not getting all the facts from a company. Aren't we kind of mirroring that same environment today? We don't have the facts, but yet we're giving them an extension to maybe find the facts. It, it is beyond me. It is corruption at its best. I beg of you to be courageous with your decision. Protect the people as the law dictates and abide by the oath that you have taken to protect us, including yourself. You all live here. You are residents of Rhode Island. Please dismiss this application. We do not need the power. Thank you.